Uh, so do we have any additions to the agenda? Yes. Yes. The listers asked for the grand list for a 30 day extension. Okay. We'll put that in on other business. Okay. And I was going to ask you about the, you'd call the state about the house down there. I'll put that in the business. Oh, um, that, uh, I don't have an update on that. Oh, okay. Have you called them? No. Okay. So we just need to know what the permit is or requires to get that taken down. Um, so those are the additions. Nothing else? Review of minutes, May 6th. Go back and review the tape, but under the consideration of additional ash tree projects, didn't we give the go-ahead to the Resilience Road Commission to to do some more? Did we do that via motion? Yeah, yes. that's, that's what I thought. Okay, so we should put put off um, approving them until we can get that motion. Yeah, yeah we did. They've already even sent out. Um, notices to the landowners along a certain road. In fact, I just filled mine out this morning. So we did make the motion for sure. Yeah. You want, what do you want to wait for? You don't know um, what the motion is? Who, who made the motion? Who made the motion? Yeah. Whether it was we can't do that now. We have tape now. We have tape. Oh. You can ask the lawyer to review it. Okay. So we have the Shelby's for now? Uh -huh. or or I suppose we could amend it to say um we don't. but no it's it's better if we go back to the tape and get the exact wording. Yeah, because we don't even know who made it. Yeah. Right. But more important the exact wording. How about anything else though? I, I'm looking at nothing jumped out at me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Being substitutively crucial. No, 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 sorry. Uh -huh. We yes, the no, 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 we, we can't, can't because we oh, don't have the wording. We just had that conversation. No, but yeah. I want to go through the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we could just sure at the next the, meeting. Sure to remember this. Really? I guess. Yeah, that's pretty short. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Now on the Sibley farm, were we gonna put something in the record? Uh, I thought the did the motion. We have the motion. Convey it? Yeah. Was there something else? We yeah, but we don't say that we're going to put that in with I thought we were gonna put something in with their paperwork or something. I thought for, that went in automatically is yeah, Rosie is still here. and she's raising her hand. Yeah. Yeah. That I mentioned that when I got when I get the letter, I will record it in the land record so that it's a part of their permanent record. Okay. All right. I have not yet received it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Did we get any comments from VLT about the way we chose to address the request? No. Okay. I didn't see anything. They they send me emails sometimes. Yeah. Not a... Okay. Okay, so we'll just on our next meeting we'll have to get the language right on the ash tree thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh public comment. Uh, uh this gentleman, are you public? I don't know. No. <laughs> okay. You're here for something else. Okay. Uh, town treasury report monthly financial reporting package will be discussed June third. Oh, okay. So, what are we looking at? So, this is uh, we received over two point five million in tax payments yep. um, just in May, and we're tracking to previous year's amounts at the same time point in time May seventeenth. So our delinquent years taxes are a two two hundred and five thousand nine hundred and seventy five, 
and in comparison, um, 167K in 23 and in 22, 2022, it was a, a 212K. Yeah. So it's tracking with the previous years. Okay. Any questions? Nope. This is normal. Yep. Okay. The next item is <clears throat> discussion of trash cleanup. I would issue an. Is there somebody from the outside coming to talk to us about that? No. Um, Zoe called. Zoe was taking the lead on She called. What did she say? Yeah, in her email, she said we could uh, discuss this on the next board meeting when she's here. Okay. If we prefer. I think that makes sense. Yeah. She's done a lot of research on that. Yeah. Oh, All right. They want to set, set up a safe Welcome. meeting. Hi. Hi. Um, all right. I guess we don't have to worry about that. About the yeah. Okay. In the end, next thing, what's that? She's here from the fire department to talk about the sheriff's stuff. Oh. Sheriff, we don't have anything on our agenda. About that, the sharps. sharps. Oh, sharps. What we were just talking about. Oh, we yeah. Oh, okay. We sharps, were just, gotcha. We were just saying that the select board member who's yeah. been the lead on this isn't here tonight, and we're thinking of postponing it till our next meeting. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Do, yeah. do we want to get some input? Well, sure, while you're here. What's <clears throat> What's the input that we need to hear? And could you, could you sign in, please? Do we have a sign-in sheet? Um, oh, there's a bit more there. Well, Zoe well, sent me a... Is it Zoe? Yeah, yeah. Zoe, yeah. Um, she sent me an email about it. So I went over and I found one in the parking lot. Yeah. Um, she was going to send me more pictures where more were. Um, and that's about as far as we've gotten. Because I wasn't really sure what... Uh, what we need to do together. Right. Um, do you have a sense of sharks in other places in town? I've not heard. Okay. No. Okay. I never have either. No. Because that's one of the things I noticed in that long document uh, that she sent us, or that's included on the website, is that it's a good idea to prevent, to uh, develop a comprehensive plan for the town, find out where the problem areas are, but maybe we don't have much. Well, I haven't heard of any, but. That was the first that I had heard. And I, went, I went right over. Thank you. And took care of the one. Perfect. Um, she said there was some in the grass, but, you know, sadly, the only thing I saw was a lot of trash. Yeah. So um, I can continue to talk to Zoe and um, see what more I can do next month. Or whenever you meet again, you need me to come. We'll put it on. What we should do about the trash? Mm. Have you thought about a trash can? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, just <laughs> running through my mind. Is that, is that a cause and effect? A trash can? No just, trash can. I'm just saying, there is a lot. It's, it's very sad. There's yeah. a lot of trash. Yeah. Yeah. How are we going to handle Why don't we tie that in to the June 30th? You know, maybe a trash can and with, 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 the, with the shark. It's true. It's parking lot invites people to pull over and pull into it. Right? Yeah. yeah. And if we have a trash can, there's going to be more trash. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's one too. And who's going to empty that? Yeah. Exactly. Well, I only have to have it picked up like a cell or something. Yeah. That's right. what you're going to have to do. Yeah. Since we don't have our own homegrown trash collection service in the parking Right. Park. I mean, that's why I do with my farm. We yeah. like sell it from just $390 a month or something. Yeah. Everybody on the farm, so a few other people, uh -huh. stop trash it. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. that's what happens. It's like everyone and their brother be done trashing. Yeah. But meanwhile, we have trash all over the place. So who's going to pick it up? Yeah. 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 I don't know. It's a thorny problem. Yeah. It's a trashing problem. Mm. So I do have a question. So sure. that was built by the state as a parking ride. Yeah. Is yeah. it our responsibility or is it the state's responsibility? We own it. We own it. We have got it. Yeah. Yeah, and we own it. That question. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we, we're supposed to maintain it. We own it. We we pay for the lights, yep. the electricity. We'll pay for replacement lights, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. So, huh. So it never gets, the trash never gets picked up. Well, I mean, we just had green up day. What yeah, happened? Yeah. When I used to park over there, I'd pick up a few things every time I was there. Right. Well, you're a good citizen. Yeah. <laughs> you know. In quotes. In quotes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what that's what people do. I mean, yeah. we do the same thing. We yeah. pick up trash or whatever. Yeah. You know. But that's probably the only solution they're going to have because if you put a trash can there, you're inviting more trash, mm -hmm. and people are just going to be dumping it constantly. Especially if they don't, especially if they don't want to pay for exactly. Like I pay for Casella too. Yeah, but those that don't want will right. That's what they do on my farm. Everybody I know pulls in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I mean, we're, we're probably not the only town with a park and ride that has a trash problem. Yeah. So I wonder if there's somebody at the state who has some ideas or that. I don't think I've ever seen a trash can in a park and ride. Oh, I've been to the With good yeah. reason. Yeah. With good reason, right. But how do they keep them clean? Place. Volunteers pick up the trash. Mm -hmm. You know, we live in a, in a do gooder kind of, yeah. kind of environment. Yeah. yeah. We could put it on public works form. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling like doing some public duty today, can you pick up the trash and set the parking lot? That's probably as good a solution as any, actually. <laughs> anyway, back to Matt with him. Yeah, that I is a matter of I think we'll put it off since Zoe's not here. She's That's not fine. feeling well. Just because she did the research and has something. That's for the Thank you for coming. Um, yeah. Rose, Rosie, no. have a comment in chat? I don't see it. It's I'm here. Here. Okay. Yeah. Did you I'm sorry, did you ask me something? No, Scott did. Oh, no, I saw you put something in the chat. I didn't know what you were Yeah, talking. so the reason that we're even bringing this to the board is because when I was up at the school for the election, Creative Visions, you know, Tim Frazier came up and said, look, this is horrible. We keep trying to pick this stuff up. There are people living over there again. There are dirty diapers, um, all kinds of stuff. And he was concerned more about the Sharps than anything else. So we've actually been paying them as our lawn service to do some of that general garbage pickup. And I uh, believe that Jen was looking into possibly seeing how much it would be for Casella, but then we got Zoe involved. So I'm not sure where things are at right now. Still waiting for the quote. Well, I, I can tell you right now, if we put something over there that Casella puts there, it's gonna be overwhelming for us. Mm -hmm. There's actually no question about it. So, yeah, Tim Frazier is the person who has a big concern because his staff are having to deal with the, the sharps. Okay, well, we can deal with that by getting them something. Yeah. Right, which may not work, right? People are going to put their needles in their box, you know, they're going to throw them in the ground. Right. right. It's a place for the local for people, but. Yeah, because otherwise we're gonna call. Yes, come pick it up. Right. Yeah, and right. Right. we don't want to burden our fire department with <laughs> driving over to pick up one needle. I, I'm I'm happy to do it. I'm you know I'm happy to to do whatever I can in this situation. But um, as I said to Zoe, what was more saddening was the dirty diapers, the yeah, the female pads, mm -hmm. just the yeah. abundance um, of trash. And I only saw the one needle, which was very. I mean, you could see it as soon as I stopped the ambulance. Yeah. But I know that Zoe had talked to um, Joe Aldworth from, well, I'm not sure what hat he had on that day. Um, he had a hat on, but I'm not sure which one. Uh, about a sharps container, but again, yeah. um, <laughs> in my so line of work, right? you know, they're not going to put the, they're not going to put it in the sharps. Pretty like, unlikely. So, so, yeah, but you know, I'm sure anyway, that it could happen. But uh, why don't we table this to the next? Yeah, meeting. sure. So if somebody just shoots me up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. A reminder because I'm old and forgetful. <laughs> no, but thank you for the. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So the other thing is the dumping trash and tires on Muddy Brook Road. This has always been an issue ever since I've been on select board. Some of the stuff loads out of trucks, as Guthrie said. There is no easy solution. Unless somebody's got one. Block oh. off Money Brook Road. What's that? Block yeah, yeah. off Money Brook Road. Right. <laughs> we don't have any town residents to live on Money Brook Road. Dumping tires there for over 30 years. Oh, yeah, ever since I've been here. Yeah. 
Yep. If they can't a, drive on it, then they can't dump tires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they dump tires at my farm. They yeah. dump tires at, they dump them everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. We pick them up all the time. So anyway, that issue is not going away. All right. I think we're done with that. Anybody else have anything to say? No. Determine another posting place. But the end of the year. Mm -hmm. The post office. And right. then we do inside here, outside here, and we were doing the four corners, but there right. are multiple. Right. No, I, I really need what about Dudley's? Is that feasible? Sure. It, as a temporary until the you know the board's always full there, but that's fine. Get it over something else. Or take something off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it. know what the requirements <laughs> are that once we post something there, that it stay there. I mean, we can post something at Dudley's, but we don't control that board. It might come down, and maybe that's fine. I don't know. But we're filling our requirement by posting. I'm not sure. <laughs> that might be true. Yeah. But I don't know. Where else? Yeah. Dudley's a good place. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Plainfield mm -hmm. Hardware was another recommendation by the Lester Deb. Uh -huh. That's the same deal. I'm trying to envision the bulletin board there. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I mean, I haven't looked. Yeah. Going inside, I don't think he's going outside. Okay. Going there, right? Okay. Outside's good. Well, we could talk to them. Who? Um, Rich. Oh, sure. Or Plainfield Co op, whoever. Yeah, for, for another week. Oh, we'll <laughs> oh Plainfield Co op is mine. Oh, yeah. it's already done. It's a done deal. Oh, I don't. They have a plug now. No, it's over. not. It's not a done deal? Oh, uh, yeah. July 17th is the closing date if they come up with half a million dollars between now and then. Thank you, Rosie. Yes. What's wrong with Dudley? Okay. Um, I, as you say, that bulletin board is really, really crowded. My my mental picture of the outside of the playing field hardware is that they just tape things up on the walls or on windows or something like that. It might be wrong, but um, it seems like it's less crowded. Yeah. It is, but less people going. Well, it's true. This place is big. Yeah. It's also convenient for staff just to. Well, yeah, true. they're going to the post office and going to Dudley board. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can talk to Angela about it too. Yeah, maybe she well, has a special that. place. I can throw her a text or something. Okay. So we, you know, I, I know. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Do we need? Awesome. A, do we need a motion on that? Make one if you want. I would think so because we're sure. Yeah. Should be yes, a one, yeah. Rosie. Yeah, you should yeah. have a motion to temporarily use that as a posting place because it's part of what are considered your your regular meeting transaction. Uh, right. During your organizational meeting, you agree to, to post them in places. So if you could do a motion to uh, create a temporary posting place of Dudley's while the Four Corner School is being remediated from all that should cover it. Sounds good. You made that motion. I'll, I'll make a motion to um, see this is being recorded. So yeah. um, to Continue to meet our requirements under the open meeting law and uh, properly and publicly notice our meetings while the Four Corners School is undergoing mold remediation to move our posting place from the Four Corners School during this time to Dudley store. How's that sound? Thank you. Good enough. I'll, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The eyes appear to have it, they do have it. All right. Uh, next item, discussion on traffic calming design. So I didn't look at that picture, or do you, do we have one? Right. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Oh, I got it right here. Do I sit here or there? Come on, come on. Oh, there are people coming. So. Oh, there are. Oh. Oh, should we? Oh, they were too early. Then. One. So I was ready. Uh huh. Thank you. Know. People, people coming to talk. Yes, apparently. Okay. okay. We get the gracious uh, to uh, 
get to hang out with us a little longer. Uh, no worries. <laughs> post, post, post. Uh, we can do the liquor license, no? Sure. Montane Meadow <laughs> liquor. The first one. Now that's okay. Here we yeah. Go. Can someone explain that map, please? Well, I I looked at it quickly. <laughs> I, okay, so this is away from the store, so there must be another gate. I was trying to figure it out myself. But there isn't an access to the, can't be another access to the road. You see, he has the entrance with a big gate. So you, it looks like to me it's right behind the food trailer. Yeah. There's an area right behind the keeps mode. Okay. I that's yeah. I mean, I'm accustomed to us receiving something like we get from Alchemy Brewing for that event um, to approve. I, I'm not accustomed that's, to approving a map like this. The, not, go ahead. I'm Go sorry, ahead. Carl. Um, the map, the Department of Liquor Control does not have any specific forms for their maps. They suggested that you do something that was... Um, close enough to scale so that you would have a good idea of where is um, where the parameters would be for serving outdoors. Okay. I'm just wondering if there's an application that's connected with this map. There is. You don't have it? No. Maybe it's not on the website. Maybe it's in the packet that's here printed out. I just had the map. You just had the map, you didn't have an application? No, we had the application the last meeting. I remember right. We did have an application. Was that for also? I didn't think it was. I didn't think no. so either. I thought it was a class two. That's my fault. Okay. All right. So, so it's his standard application that has no other information on it other than what we've seen previously for other licenses. Mm -hmm. Just stating that it's an outdoor consumption. Is there a problem with this? Well, it's just nice to know what we're doing if we're <laughs> going to approve <laughs> it. I personally think it's pretty clear what it is. You yeah. Been there, you go in on the left side of the driveway, there's a food trailer. Up yeah. On the trailer, he's renovating, where it's going to make a tree. And it looks like he's proposing to put in a rope. You know, gate on the back side of that trailer, and there's an area that he keeps mowed. What's the purpose of mowing? Okay. To keep people inside of the oh, area with without the local license. Oh, okay. You're not supposed to. We don't have open open container laws in Vermont. So it keeps them in that area. Keeps them in that area. We used to do that when I worked at the bar. It's like the it's yeah, like all, all of it is the, just a rope. Like the Mountaineers game. You know, yeah. Like yeah. The, who was outside? Gotcha. Okay. okay, so I guess I would be comfortable on the basis of the town clerk's testimony and the map that we have here with making a motion to approve the outdoor sale of liquor at Fontaine Meadows LLC. You guys okay with that? Yep. I'm fine. I'll second it. Okay, so I would say, um, yeah, let's see, the motion is to, to authorize. Authorized I, me to. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, based on the town clerk's description of Fontaine Meadow LLC's uh, application for serving liquor outdoors and the map which we have reviewed, we authorize the town clerk to approve the applications for a first class for a, an outdoor liquor license for Montane Meadows for further processing. Sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, so the next one is the Maple Roots Festival being held on July 27. And where's that going to be? Morse Farm. Oh, Morse Farm, yep. Yes. Oh, they've done that before. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Be a big party near our place until 11 o'clock at night. Do you want to approve that stuff? Uh, <laughs> okay. Do you think you're going to hear them from North Street? Probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I doubt it. Okay. You can do the railroad track.
can hear the railroad come through Montpelier. Can you? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely can hear the horn. Absolutely. You should complain about that. Anyway. <laughs> like, anyway. I played East Montpelier. I didn't get any yeah, you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So I move to authorize the town clerk to approve the application for a, what kind of license is it? It's a festival license. Limited Thank event. You. For a limited event festival. One time. License event. for Maple Roots Music Festival at the Morris Farm on July 27th, 2024. Uh, for further processing. Second. We have a second from Tom. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. If the ayes appear to have it, they do have it. All right, we're done with that. We're still a little early. Um, we can do the warrants. Where are they? Oh, right here. Yeah. We do the grand list extension. Is that... Oh yeah, we could do that right as a business. Yeah, we could start talking about that thirty-day extension while we're reviewing the warrants. Yeah, so um, be, we're trying to chew up on it. <laughs> it's hard to get efficient out of my system. <laughs> uh, so the thirty-day extension uh, for lodging the grand list—that's the deal. Because what? They've still got some corrections to make or something. Yeah, they need more time. They need more time. Is this normal? Do they? I've never seen that actually. Usually they are okay, but I guess it's fine. I mean, as long as we're okay as far as figuring our tax rate, which we usually do in August, you know, because we send our tax bills and you always have to know Sunday. what the grand list is to figure out. It's just math, but. Uh, 30 days, so this is May 20th, so that'd be June 20th. I think that'd be okay. Should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Well, if they're not done, they're not done. They're not the choice. Well, we can put some pressure on them to give them 15 days. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the 30 days for now. Okay. And just tell them they better have it done. Because we are really getting... Are there any consequences with the state for doing this? No. Okay. We've done this before. Yeah, that's what yeah. Deb said. We don't usually. We don't usually, but when I was on the board, I know we did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've been keeping the listers under you know, stricter control. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the calls. Oh. Okay. I'll make the uh, I'll make the motion to, to grant a 30 day extension to lodge the grand list for the listers. Now that 30 days starts from when? Is it to lodge or to log? I think it's lodge. It says lodge. It said lodge in the... Okay, somewhere I saw logging in the town administrator report. And they had a extension to lodge. The, is it to lodge the grand list? Is that it proper, Rosie? Okay. Okay, so yeah. it's okay. it's listed. Hello, DGE. Okay. When, when 30 days from when? So there's You're a muted. question here to sign with the date. So once you... Oh, yeah. 30 days from today. Yeah, the yeah. chair has to sign it once. Okay. And is, is that from today? I mean, what, what would be the deadline if we didn't extend June it by 30 days? Yeah, yeah, June 4th is the deadline. So it'll be July 4th. Okay. Yep. So, this is something we they typically do every year. Really? So is this a 30-day extension from today or from, from June, June 4th? June, June 4th. From June 4th. Here you go, stop uh oh yeah i got it right here so i think you need to authorize me to sign it. yeah yeah so what was your motion to that uh to grant the listers uh 30 days from uh june 4th to uh, mm -hmm. grant an extension to lodge the grand list. May, may I suggest that it's to, to, uh, may I suggest that it's to authorize the select board chair to um, sign the grand list extension request for thirty days under, under thirty two BSA. Yeah, yes, as usual. Under thirty two BSA, section forty three forty two. Yes, exactly. thank you for that clarification. Very good okay. motion, Scott. So that's an excellent motion. I'll <laughs> I'll second that if nobody else seconded it. Thank God, for, thank God for Carl. Yeah. <laughs> He's always here to clean all this. Yeah. He does you a tremendous a job. You're a uh, any further discussion? 
All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, we did that finally. Um, we, we could, if you want to stretch it to seven, we could get the town administrator report. Is there anything? Yeah, let's look at the town administrator report. Yep. Uh, uh, Oh, wow. Too long. So that's a misspelling, right, on the, yeah, um, that's right. for logging. Yeah. <laughs> and it came right after the asking report. <laughs> <laughs> logging the list. You're doing, you're doing a great job. Uh, I missed her. <laughs> you're doing a great job. Well, that's okay. So the ask city mailing went out, um, and I drafted the contract to Larry Parnell, and we're waiting for feedback from the select board, and for I'm going to do some more format fixing. Um, that contract's not subject to the state provisions, so it's a shorter, simpler contract. Um, Ravel Plum Plumbing was here today. They fixed the outside spigot. The cemetery contract was signed um, for the Town Hill Road grant. Um, we're waiting to receive the contract uh, from Michelle Redman. She's from the District Maintenance and Fleet Division. Um, and then we can get that one going. Um, Lampco won an emergency contact. So um, for the building, like who lives close, who could come if the power went out. I don't know if we want to decide that. And then uh, for FEMA. Uh, Is that there? Okay. Yeah, sure. Didn't I say it could be me? Um, I just want to confirm. Email? Yeah, like I sent an email asking. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with it. I mean, because I live post pods. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I'm familiar with the building. Plus, I'm an emergency director. If I'm not here, yeah. you want me back up? Who's who's closest? I'm probably the closest. You like to be backup? I can be. I nominate Tom. Oh, of the people who's here. I mean, it's always close as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tom. But Tom can do it. Yeah. Or we can nominate Zoe because she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you could. <laughs> you want to do it? Um, For the. Yeah. FEMA projects, um, we're moving forward with those. The road group to, I signed a 61K reimbursement form uh, to get 61K back. Yep. Um, two of the projects um, are still on track to complete in May. And then we're waiting for a reply for the FEMA, from FEMA for the Sanders Circle. So we made our decision yep. on which solution to go with and we're waiting for them at this point on that one. So what do they do? They just okay it, and then what happens? Yeah, they have a checklist they're working from. So, okay. Um, I think it's like to get the okay from their engineering that okay we can move forward. And, and then we order the thing. Yeah, because you know it's two eighty nine k, so they yeah. had to approve it. But we have to upfront the money, and then we get reimbursed. I believe. Oh. I think that's how it works. Okay. But. I don't think they're going to pay for it before it's installed. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I not sure about that, but you can ask Guthrie. But I'm pretty sure that's the way you do. It's... And then for the EMFD proposed changes, um, they wanted to confirm, well, June 3rd, but when and where? What time? So we just I discussed it with uh, Ann, but of course she's stepping down as chairman. So I thought the fire department would be the best place because it's going to be quite a few people. Yeah. So she was fine with that, but she's not going to be the chair at that point. It's going to be Jordan. So, so over here, would we then? How would we coordinate that with our regular meeting? That's our regular meeting. So we just we, have we to just have to change the location. What? Yeah, so we'll have it over there. We've done that before. So would that be the only item on the agenda then, or would we do I other things not. and just you know, no? I would stay say in the meeting room and say six thirty. We have this, yeah, we and then we when that ends, then we have a regular. Yeah. Okay. But we probably ought to allow an hour or so for maybe it's that. Agenda like today. Well, if it's vanilla like today, 
Yeah, we, we have, yeah, exactly. But I don't think it's going to go quickly on the fire department discussion. But as, as I said, I'm not available on June third. So if you yeah, me at the table, so that means it'll be quicker. Is that what you saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like me at the table, we could do it some other time. Oh yeah. But if, if but there's a lot of momentum for June third, it seems I, like I, there I, is. I don't have an ego. It seems like there is. Are you because we got to have a quorum? I'm available. You? Okay. Are you going to be on the second board that night, or board. okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is, is it etched in stone? Well, we're trying to well, my, come up with My point is, if, if they're flexible too, it'd be nice to have Carl there also. You want to try the 17? Well, we're not going to vote. All we're doing is discussing what we're going to bring. Yeah, we're well, trying to. There won't be any action taken no. because it has to be properly warned under that. No, no, no. No, I understand. If, if Plus, I, it's, if we change language, we have to have it embedded. Right, right. Yeah. My point is, like, if we could get, if we could get the entire select board, if it doesn't matter to Callus, I would, I would argue for. I mean, if they can't do the seventeenth, they'll do the third. Well, if, if it doesn't matter, I'd like to have our full select board there. Sure. If possible, why not? It just depends on everyone's schedule. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Of course. So, we can, Jen can reach out to them, suggest the seventeenth. If, if it's the seventeenth, it's fine. Then let's just do the seventeenth. Okay. If not, then we can do the third. If, exactly. Uh, yeah, because Carl, can you be there on the 17th? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, everyone else can too. Yep. Okay. 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 So right. let's try for the 17th. Fire department. Well, they're, they're you know. They, they live there? <laughs> right. <laughs> Somebody can be there from the fire department. Yeah. All you need well, is. It's a stay six with one. Yeah. Yes, what's that? Six on a Monday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're trying to coordinate so with our own meeting. Okay, let's see how that works. No, this no, is no, going to no. be first thing. Oh, first. We're, we're and and the then the way we're going to schedule is you just don't schedule a specific time to start a regular meeting. We just say after that's ended, we have our regular meeting. If you get tied to a time, it does not work. And if it's a killer super, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the agenda, put it off to the next meeting unless it's pressing. So we're, not, we're not there all day. You'll, you'll get that. You'll understand that this is a pattern with Scott. It's like, let's yeah, put it off the next meeting. <laughs> uh, we're almost done. It's seven. <laughs> well, I don't like pontification. Let's get it. Get... Okay. 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 Yeah, that's our regular so meeting good. time. So we kind of wanted to stick to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. that's good there. Now I'm just looking at your town administrative report, making sure that we so on the town hill project, do we don't have a state grant for that? I think uh and what do you mean by once finishes a complete for town hill road grant town what does that mean so we are receiving money for a grant it's going to be 388k and we're waiting for the contract from michelle redmond so i don't know well michelle redmond works the pipe is that right she's a district project manager from the district maintenance and fleet division so oh yeah so I think that no, is she working for Pike or she worked for the state? Looks like she's I working for the state. state. She works for the state, I think. So the well, way you, you read that sentence that you were wondering about, I think you put a comma after grant. Oh yeah. Put some punctuation in there, then it becomes a lot more clear. Yeah. Okay, so then we did get a grant for 388. So we're waiting for it. Yeah. So then we can move forward with Pike. Well, generally they they approve it. They approve a grant. Right. Has that been approved? That's what we're waiting for. Okay. Oh, I think it's been approved, but then we're waiting for the paperwork. Okay. So I'm just wondering what the 388 is. Is that the grant? It doesn't sound like it sounds like a lot. We don't usually get grants for that, 388. Or is that the estimate? To that's do the it? estimate to, to pay. do it. The paid the road. Okay, that's my thought. Yeah. Process. yeah. So how much do we get for the grant? Do you know? Uh I'm waiting for the e for the email right now. So I don't know. Okay, so okay, so we got an S for a 388, but we don't know what the grant is. 
from the state. Right. Right. Because right. they're not usually that much money. They're like 150000 oh. uh, That's generally what I've seen around me. So anyway. Okay. Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> <laughs> Just like extracting a tooth. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. That's good. And anybody else have any more questions on the town administrative report? Okay, because we can move forward with the uh, bump, bump and whatever we call this over here. Bump cars. Yeah. All right. Are you expecting more people? Are we expecting more people for that? Yeah. Oh, well, we're, we're good. Okay. Okay, so um, we're getting some pushback from town's folks on this, on your design. Sure. Um, so let's go over it. <laughs> All right, so the biggest thing we have is the map, like, right? Correct? Right? Oh, yeah, you need, uh, you need a copy. You want to ask Ruben to present it to us? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm just looking at my copy. Okay. Here. All right. Oh, I see a lot of circles. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so with uh, with the traffic calming piece, which was right what the ask was, can we put together a demonstration, temporary traffic set of traffic calming measures to get people below forty through the village? Right, that was the ask. So <clears throat> most of what's in here is going to be oriented around tightening geometries, so lane widths or turn radii. Um, now, I already got some feedback from Guthrie about um, concerns that constricting the cart way too much might present a problem for farm equipment. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't sure <clears throat> which proposed elements were exactly implicated in that. I'm assuming uh, the bump outs maybe are, are what he would be um looking to have cut there but without having an actual conversation about it um huh. i'm not entirely sure they say things are clear that construction barrels are really yeah, i don't know if it's the barrels or the bump outs but the concern is the concern is that it i can tell you I, I think it was the bump out specifically sure. because the concern was that there were elements that would force right. people over the center line while driving straight Yes. Okay. So I was going to say, that, in my experience of driving large vehicles, some of these are a little bit restricted to maybe like. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, this is this right. So on the so on on like figure one, like this, right? This, this is a nightmare for, for a large. Right. Know? The sweep. The actual. <laughs> the actual sweep of the actual sweep of a. Uh, oh, like that's. Yeah. The actual sweep of like gonna, a semi with a trailer. The lane, and like that's yeah. scary. No, I mean, you don't yeah, want to do that. Yeah, you, you have to you actually have to address I'm a big, that. I'm a big proponent for this project. <laughs> well, the yeah, on on one, yeah, you have to pull that back because of the sweep for a truck, a full size truck. All all these intersections is going to create a little bump. There are bumps, even just long trucks <laughs> that aren't tracked. All right. Oh, Greg wants. To I don't think all of them, but um, hang on. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, go so how many how many heavy trucks do you have? Like, I don't remember the name the name of the road there, but uh, location number four, right? How many trucks do you have going up that dirt? Quaker Hill Road. Quaker Hill Road. Right? A, a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of trucks. A lot of them. We put barrels. Uh, the fire chief can talk to that more than I can, but as somebody who drives fire trucks and ambulances. The only place you have to go is down the center when you have traffic. Mm -hmm. You put barrels there, you have no place to go, and neither does the traffic. You're going to create more of a traffic hazard than there is today. Mm -hmm. And I think my person is capable. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. Of that. I see, I'm going to talk like I don't block our I see pictures of what you guys are trying to do. And you said they spent six million dollars on that bridge down there. It's going to show a 53 foot truck and go out and make that swing. And they still have to go a little bit up. If you start restricting that, they got to go more into the travel lane. So we're going back to the bridge that was built in 1934, basically. 
We're stepping back. Just like there's other intersections here. We spent over two and a half million dollars to fix this intersection. You know, now the down again. You know what worked really good? Hire a share for state troopers for two weeks to tell them anybody over 30 miles an hour, give them a freaking speeding ticket. And that'll clear yeah. your problem up really fast. Yeah, I mean, fair no, enough. I'm serious. That will clear up the problem really fast. Right. So, so for set or for serve uh, or imaginable funds, but I know it's not imaginable. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it doesn't sound like it's going to fly very well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it doesn't sound. I mean I've had some calls from people of like uh, with big trucks and it's like, right? Yeah, they didn't say it ain't going to work. There's a lot of trucks that go through. Each oh other. yeah, I... and some farms, well, there's only a couple farms. They have big trucks. Yeah. Tractor trailers, and they're like, we can't make this work. So there you go. I mean, the trucks come to my farm. Tractor trailers come all the time, and they're not to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we have an ongoing conversation for a decade or more in East Montpelier about speed tables or speed bumps. Uh, what What are your thoughts about using those in the building? Um, I would have to look into what can be done with that that's that's a bit outside the remit of the guidance from what i've read okay um i mean it it's a possibility but that is very likely an engineering study that the town spends money on an engineering study and then puts hard infrastructure in right that's not a that's not a demonstration there are rubber portable speed tables that you can put in I can look into it. Okay. Um, again, I don't know. Uh, that is a. It's a more serious modification of the cartway. Is it? Sure. Than than putting some flex post. Uh huh. Right. Um, so that's I think more of a conversation with with V Trans because it, it addresses the width issues that people are bringing up. So when I was going through Underhill the other day, they had speed cards on both ends of the village that if they go over five miles an hour over the speed limit it right big red letters slow down um, and then at all the intersections where there weren't lights that they have a crosswalk they actually have big flashing lights that come on person pushes the button and it must work on radar because when the person hits the sidewalk on the other side immediately shut off so I mean, yeah, I kind of want to think about something like that. Five seconds. Yeah, you know? yeah. It, those are the it's types of things that I was thinking that you were talking about. Right? That's what I thought. Like, talking, like it does, right. there was going to be some way visual yeah. You know, the light was going to come on, slow down traffic, so people could cross the road. Right. That's that's all I thought. I, right. I wasn't realizing there was going to be bales and bump outs and. Every intersection, basically. Well, I think I think a lot of the idea though was that in the painting of the lines, oh, not yeah. so much in the uh, obstructed elements, but yeah, just I mean, the visual, like at the end of the day, down the line. You know, what at I mean? the end of the day, that's why you have people speeding here, is because they drive here and they perceive that they're on a speedway because that's what those geometries tell them. Mm -hmm. And you can put up all the signs you want, you can put up 30, 30, 30, yeah, yeah. and the road is gonna tell them 60, 60, 60. Just because of the way the road Just starts. because of the procedure. Sorry, I drive through here, I don't know how many times a day, as Seth does, yeah. I have never seen anybody go through here at 60 miles an hour. Well, not 60, but. But, but even, 40, 40, 40, 40, even 40, 45, unless it's the middle of the night, I haven't seen it. It's usually that you <laughs> right. Well, it's it's like what, they, well. what they do is get up on the lights. And then if the light is red, they stop. And then when the light turns green, everyone just accelerates, basically. And of course, you know, by the time they hit the next light, you know, they're probably not going much over 30, 35. It's just the perception is they're speeding through the village, right. you know, because they're all been stopped in light and then they're taking off. And that's like, okay. Whoop. So, you know, they're not going, and then the traffic that comes through here when the light is green, it's not that fast. I mean, it's, they're moving along, but they're not speeding that much, like you just said. You know, I come to this intersection three, four times a day, mm -hmm. 
So before they redesigned these intersections, I can remember cutting people out of cars multiple times a year. Because the way the intersection was constructed. Having to cut anybody out of a car in recent years since we've redesigned the intersections. So I think that narrowing stuff down and doing these types of things are just kind of great. Where, where is this emanating from? Who, who, where is the complaint coming from? The, well, the village concern about yeah, yeah. the people living in the village. Okay, so there are, I, was, I was contacted concerning if people are concerned about speeds in the village. No, no, yeah, no, no I'm right. just, I don't, I'm trying to recall. Okay, so yeah. there is an issue, yeah. say, at the post office. Okay. People park in front of the post office, they back out yeah, into the traffic. Yeah, I witnessed that. Yeah. I'm at the post office, I always park in right. the back or to the side. I don't park in the front, yeah. but they park in the front and they back out into Route 2. Right. That's an issue. <laughs> But I suggested that we don't allow parking in the front except for a handicap. And they put up some directions at the post office about parking. Because I but, because I've gone there and I didn't know you were allowed to park in the back and I parked in the front because right. that's the only place you And then park. you probably parked at, well, I mean, it's hard to get out of there. I agree. And I think that's what is an issue. And it should be addressed. But common sense doesn't so, seem to work there because everyone got annoyed about or. Put some lines there saying no parking in front of the post office unless it's handicapped or something. I mean, that is ridiculous. They park, they back right into the traffic. I watched it the other day. That's an accident. But there's somebody at the fuel pumps, and you're trying to go left to right, and you got to look through the vehicle at the fuel pumps. Right, because they're blocking the, <laughs> you can't pull out because there's a truck parked right at the fuel pump, and you're trying to pull out, and they're like sneaking out into the traffic. I mean, I do it every day, but it's like, how do you address that? You know, that's that's an issue. But yeah, yes. uh, if you put signs that say speeding should slow down with green and red, and then you go and enforce it for a week or two with a police officer between front porch form and all the outside thing, you'll realize that you'll get a ticket for that. No. Okay. I think that that's true. That's 100 percent true. I think a lot of the problems that I see are like trucks from New Hampshire and Maine, you know what I mean? Who are honking because they can't slow down because they don't they don't drive through here. It's kind of like the trucks getting stuck in the notch. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're just right, right. Hey, I'm flying, I'm going to Montpelier, I'm delivering my stuff. Yeah, what the know? heck? <laughs> what the heck? Now I'm stuck. I mean, we do have a contact with the um, local sheriff's department. We could direct them to, you know, spend some time. Spend some time there. We already have a contract for them. Price out when your grants are for them signs, and have them after the traffic light. So that's the limit in such speed. Right. Right. So that's the that's the the other thing is the uh, qualifying qualifying material list, right? And I don't believe that, like the radar signs, I don't think are on there. <laughs> I think that becomes a town expenditure. Yeah, we've looked into that before. It was a town expense. And how much are they? Depends at any rate. I don't know offhand what the what the, going, thing these days. So what the going price is. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the pull behinds. No, okay, I was talking about a permanent one that yeah. actually oh, added. Yeah, yeah, permanent permanent install is a whole other. That's a whole other other pot of money than any of this stuff would be. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we're happy to we're happy to work with you to figure out getting grant funding for that. But that's a yeah, that's a that's a separate one. Actually, I'd like to see that myself. So I don't know what I'd like to see that and some lights at least at the crosswalk. Yeah, yeah I, that I agree. Was, yeah, yeah, because that that is an accident. Way. That's that's right. 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 Like, yeah, the wire around that circle, on the, huh. they're there. You have, you have pads on both sides of that crosswalk, right? Mm -hmm. You already have con. Yeah. You already have con. Oh, landing well. Where? By the both sides of the post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Both sides of the There's not really a landing on the post office side. No. Man, we didn't do it because of plowing. No, no plowing. It's just that yellow yeah, sign there, so, which I'll, gets backed into a, yeah, every I, other day. Well, I'll, I'll tell you the. Um, so they're putting one in Northfield Falls right now. Yeah. And as. For this, I'm sorry, they're putting what in the uh, the actuated actuated yellow flashers, right? Yeah. Press a button, you get a yeah. get a warning. Yeah, that's true. Um, so they're putting those in, and I know that in that instance, and I imagine it would probably be the same out here, that uh, the state required them to put in the concrete. Right. Um, so you'd be, I mean, you'd be looking at to get to get a set of those in. Yeah, you'd be looking at 
adding the adding the landing on the one side on the um, board the, office side yeah that's what it sounds like yeah because that was an issue before because of snow plowing because you know then it's up above the level of the asphalt that could take care of the parking right, exactly. <laughs> right. kill two birds with one stone yes <laughs> Yeah, so there are, yeah, I mean, there are options and, and we can have, you know, we can certainly, now that I have a better idea of what. Yeah. Know, so this is, when I when I hear demonstration traffic calming, right, it's like this type of stuff. It's like put down a bunch of delineators yeah, and yeah. like try to, we got it. you know, try to tighten up things. And, but we're going to get rid of that because it ain't going to work. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. No, no, not we're done with that. <laughs> no, but I, I think that the light at the post office is a great idea. Yeah, you know, I also think the radar activated speeding signs at either end of the villages too. Even if we have to spend our own money, that's something that well, let's find out. we should look into. Right, sure. we've talked about it. For they years. do work. I know that in yeah. personal experience coming into a town. Yep. Yeah, I see it. Mine too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, <laughs> how fast am I going? Especially well, if you're not from here. That's like, what I. Like, that's what I think like you were saying. Yeah, it's not like I don't. The cops you're, there. You're, they you're, tell you're, me, hey, there's a cop here. It works better than seeing I mean, we're, we're trying to something that works without the two and bases on yeah. the track. And then it works permanently. Like, right. If you have cops there for Those two signs. weeks. What's that? Woodbury Lake. Yeah. Those signs really were really going to Those trucks that come through there. Right. Long. They know. Signs blinking or not. Mm -hmm. But it helps. It makes people. Helps. It makes me slow down. It helps. Yeah. I got a ticket there one time. I'm like, oh, there's a sign. I remember I got a ticket here. Woo, slow down. And just on the perspective, yeah, the width, I get a concern to put too many choke points in. Oh, I agree. Because it's the fire department, too. It's nice. Yeah. They yeah, yeah. either side and we got a clear path. Yeah, I know. I agree. And yeah. you start putting barrels and. Yeah. And, and I, I run points. wide equipment, too. I mean, my, some of my equipment's over 12 feet wide. It's like, well, this isn't going to work. So, anyway. So, how, what do you think? You getting I mean, the message, buddy? No. <laughs> you getting the message? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, you know, could have, could have been an email, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, we wanted it, like. Let, let, let's go clarification. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So. Well, we didn't really realize what he was talking about when he came in before. And then, there's, I mean, then saw, I saw your email, and then people have been calling. And it's like, oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. Now I know. Yeah. So you you were talking about the way the road invites uh, speeding and that signs are, are generally ineffective. I mean, I've done a little bit of reading on on that, and uh, what I've seen and what I've read is that the the most effective places to have traffic calming or ways to have traffic calming are the most counterintuitive to our way of thinking about things, where you have pedestrians and traffic mixed together, bicyclists mixed together with basically. Uh, minimal directions on what they should do as people figure it out. Could you comment on that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, the idea is that it causes people to slow down because they're in an environment that they don't know how to navigate. Yeah. And so they're actively figuring out how to navigate it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's more or less the thing. Yeah. Right. And so the, with, again, with the things like, things like the, the, the geometry piece that we've decided we're not doing. Um, but a lot of that is, it's the same thing, right? Where it's the difference, uh, the difference in perceived safe speed for a driver between an 11 and a 12 foot lane, is, there's a meaningful difference there. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Um, and so that's, you know, again, that's, that's, um, you know, as opposed to signage, as a, as opposed to using signage controls, what it is, it's a, it's a, uh, it's an environmental cueing method, right? That there's an environmental cue that, like, I have, I have less play here, and so, like, right, I'm gonna, and that's, that's what, you know, basically all of this stuff is right, out of that concept. And so. East Montpelier Village is not a plaza in Denmark or in the Netherlands where you have a lot of bicyclists and and pedestrians running around yeah no, it's not that's not the, thing, that's not are, the market plots no but there are there are ways to um to use those principles here and, and that's what you've sketched for us yeah yeah but um i think if the it sounds like the goal is more um active measures is what i'm hearing yeah so right more passive no, 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 this is passive. This is passive. This is like it forces you 
No, I understand. In, in, uh, but I'm, not in. I'm, a, I'm looking at the other way. To me, this, yeah. to me, this aside is passive, whereas this is physical. <laughs> anyway, we'll have more papers got later on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay. All right. So, but yeah, so you're you're looking at like. Real real time feedback. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Type I think so. Uh, yes and no. We decided to pass everything. Perfect. We're put, <laughs> we're, we're going to close off the street five miles. Away. Good, good. All right. So, are you going to look into the two things that we're talking about? Because yeah, yeah, this is out of your purview as far as the the radar. That's I, mean, not I, can, I can I can look into what kind of funding might be available okay. for you. Right. That would work. Um, and like what what your, I mean, realistically, it's going to be it's going to be a grant process probably. Yeah, I that. think so too. Yeah. Um, and so I can yeah I can look into what kind of money there is and what the process is to, okay. to try to get some assistance with some of those things. Yeah. And you look into portable speed tables. Yeah. And then what about um the light. For the pedestrians. Yeah, actually, we did pedestrians. Yeah. Yeah, I can look into those. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think we're good on that. Okay. Well, I think you did what you thought we asked you to. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for that. And yeah. uh, well, that's, thank that's you for being, we yeah, thank you for coming in and yeah. so, you know, and explaining this to us in a way that we all understand it. Mm -hmm. And you know, sorry that we're not going to do it, but we ain't going to do that. I mean, I, it was it was right. I I intentionally went with the maximalist design. Okay, and yeah, figuring that things would get picked out. <laughs> right. Anyway. So like everything got picked out. Like I'm, we just threw it out the window. <laughs> I, I got I got paid for this work. I'm not okay. Okay. I'm <laughs> not to the end result. Anybody have any comments? Well, one thing that I just think about, and I don't know if it would work, but through traffic signal timing, could there be a way to slow down the traffic a little uh, bit by looking at the timing of the light. So one is where one's like red one's, one's red while the other one's green and so people are stopped and you know what I mean? Something like that. Just thinking outside the box. Which it's lights that we already have you mean? Yeah. yeah. Do you but know in, do you know if they're currently synchronized to any speed like they have a they have like a, a synchronized synchronization like 25 miles. I think have an eye that it says that there's traffic there like down at the ridge changes. They, they've got the cameras on them, and my sense is that when you come to this intersection from here, the camera notices that you're here and changes. Yeah, so it's so I haven't it's, noticed it's, that, it's all green. It's always right. Its default is green on on, on Route Two. Yeah. yeah, and then when you have people, when you have people come on the forty two approaches, it actuates it. Yes, that's yeah. not plausible. That's not exactly the main point. Are those cameras? Are those cameras to record us? Yeah. Can we have one? Yeah. And the bridge is what makes everybody do their happy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, based based just on my time driving around this area, the the difference in volumes between the the through movements and the turning movements, like that would make sense. So, all right. So I'm I'm sorry. What would make sense? That uh, that the approaches from 14 on both ends are actuated, and that the default state in both of these intersections is a green for for uh, route two. Okay, so I guess, but I can have, I, I can look into it. There is there is someone somewhere who knows what the what the um, what all the controls yeah, right. There's yeah. a there's a controls and timing diagram somewhere for both of those intersections. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like the idea of, of using the existing lights and and changing the timing some so I the default isn't green. Right. It's not the fourteen sides coming. Oh no, no, it's not. No, it's the it's the through, it's the through traffic for sure. I had somebody. I, I when I was coming in here, I remember I had someone come up on me coming up. And tailgating me basically, but they came up on me at, at about 40 at about 40 miles an hour coming into the bridge. So uh, all right. I think we're good. No more questions? To be continued. Yeah. To be continued. Yeah. Well, we're moving in a slightly different direction. Well, slightly. slightly. <laughs> <laughs> we took a turn. A, a, a radical <laughs> It's, it's yeah. an issue we've been talking about for decades, okay. and we made some progress a few years ago when we lowered the speed limit to 30 in the village yeah. and 40 in approaching the village. And you know that has slowed things down, I think. And we're just continuing to talk about it. I think if you can go for a blue light down here once in a while. I haven't seen one. Or two of them. 
I think it'll make a big effect. Fancy one on one. Get five on one okay, six, I get a ticket. Bridge. And oh, they were? I haven't seen them. Yeah, I mean, every, every day, I haven't seen I don't know uh, uh, how long they're there. All right. Yeah, I don't know what kind of contracts East Montpelier has for with with uh, sheriff or state. Police. No, we have a yearly contract. Um, but you yeah, can, so hours, many hours. Twenty hours a month or something. something like yeah, that. I think because I think you can. I think you can get a hold of them and say, "Hey, could, would you mind? Would you mind posting up at this place oh, for that. this span of time Heck, yeah. on this day?" You know. Yeah. And uh, just their presence alone. Yeah. What? No, we can do that. We can put a call in. And, Let's get them to. We have so many hours. What I can't remember like the fifteen or twenty. I think it's twenty. Yeah, we started out at Up forty. To twenty, I think it was, or something. Now that was the state police. Yeah, they they were the like, we yeah. abandoned the state police because so they weren't doing anything. Yeah. Right. So we and finally, like, what? You're not doing anything. So then we got the local guys, right? For a land sure. sheriff, whatever. Good. That's good. Good. All right. Okay. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of exciting when we get people showing up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the only thing that's left is the personnel man. All right, guys. Have okay. a nice Yeah, have a nice oh. night. Yeah. Good night. Did we did we take care of all the additions to these units? Yes. Okay. Yeah, all right. So we have a couple. Is is that, really we have going to go into this is You or yes. Mark? I don't know. What are you, what are you in for? Not at all. We already did it. Uh, we don't we have any. Yeah, it's all for we, we didn't have we didn't have yeah. No, I was here last week, last two weeks ago. Yeah. With the alcohol, that approved. Yeah. yeah. But now the liquor department said I need a pro CP. Outside saving, yeah, we yeah. didn't like that cartoon drawing, and we said no, we didn't like that. We yeah, no, wonder what kind of beer you have. You're gonna have to that. Is maybe. it just PBR or what? You have some decent stuff. I might, depending. <laughs> all right, all right, probably gonna be a home brew right. over there. That's the case that's gonna be approved. <laughs> you did the approval there. That's that's you did it already tonight, or yeah, you already did it. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. did have that. You, 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 you want us to revisit and turn no, it down? No, I do have a question. I don't know if I have to. Um, you guys were talking earlier about uh, having people uh, set up like uh, state police or sheriff's department. How do you request that? I mean, since the time I've been there and Fox Market, we're talking about it. We had two accidents already, cars just fly up through there, they don't even pay attention. I haven't seen anything in law enforcement. So, what was it called? So I just, I guess I we have a contract, we'll have Jennifer look it up. Look at the contract. Yeah, you can yeah. stop in a little bit and, and welcome the park now. I did my driveway or even yeah. the off market. They said they'd love to. Yeah, we have a contract with them and I can't remember the terms of it, but they haven't been doing much. So we can. So that, that's good information, Jennifer, for you to pass on to them. That we have two stores there that are willing to lend their driveway to the effort yeah. because yeah. in the past they've been down by the post office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. At least state police. I don't know where the sheriff's been sitting up. I haven't seen the sheriff. Sheriff will go around on Vincent Flats Saturday, Center Road, Monday. Oh, they were? Oh, last week. Good. They had. Uh -huh. so Good. They had tickets or not? I don't know. They haven't pulled over. No. Oh. It's on Thames and Boxes. Yeah. Where they parked. Yeah. 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 So okay. ho hopefully we didn't disappoint you by approving. No, well, yeah. maybe in a way, but I mean, I got a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's your issue. That's my issue. Yeah. I stepped in it, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sit on the pod. Okay. So we only really have one personnel issue, but we do have an executive session. Yes. Should I stop recording you? Uh, yes. Not yet. Not yet. So we're going to move to go into executive session. So I don't have the language in front of me, but uh, I move to enter executive session to discuss a personnel matter under the applicable uh, law um, with the idea that we will not make any decisions in executive session. And uh, if we make decisions outside of executive session, we will explain the reasons for them. Second. 
All those in favor, please say aye. 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 We we're out of executive session at eight oh one. We have discussed the town administrator position, and in light of losing our current town administrator, oh, zoning, administrator. Well, zoning administrator. Thank you. Yes, in light of the resignation of our zoning administrator effective May thirtieth, I, I move to May thirtieth. I move to um, to appoint Tyson Brown as zoning administrator with a start date of May 31st at his previous salary and 24 hours a uh, a week uh, because he has great experience in this job here and was well thought of when he did. Second. Second. Um, oh yeah, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, <laughs> any opposed? Uh, the ayes have it. We'll give it back to you. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yes, I was. I was, um, and uh, Seth was recused. Yeah. And I was acting as momentary chair of the meeting <laughs> at that point. I suddenly realized <laughs> that should be a backup, and that will be a yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, Are you okay. listening? Is there anything else we have to discuss? I don't think that is. No. No. Okay. Good. So no, no, you can leave the recording on until we adjourn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Scott, motion, motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 They do have it. Eight oh four p.m. <laughs>